I don't think I ever dreamed of being on Broadway. I, I discovered that I loved being on stage. I aspired to be an actress. I knew about Broadway because my parents, my mother specifically played Broadway show albums. We heard, she saw the original My Fair Lady travel back with me. I discovered plays in junior high and in high school I discovered musicals, which was the blending of the two. And I was always a singer, I was in choir, I sang in the church choir, and I thought, oh man, this is for me. When I moved to New York, I thought, oh, oh, this, this could actually happen. And then it became just sort of my path. Lil Abner, that's the first musical I remember seeing. You don't even know what that is, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I was so fascinated with the actors making exits and entrances up and down the aisles because it was obviously in the round, it was a round tent, and looking up and seeing on the beams there were the, the follow spot guys working the lights and stuff, following the, I just, all dressed in black like cat women, you know, cat people, and I just thought that was the coolest, coolest thing. I couldn't tell you much about the show. Yeah, you know what, I, I always idolize my mother. I know it sounds sort of trite, but I just thought, always thought she was beautiful. She had a beautiful voice. She was such a good person and so well loved by, it was so obvious, not just by my dad, but by people that she had contact with. I could tell how, how special she was and I thought, That's, I'd like to be like that. I hope I can aspire to that. All my musical experiences have been pretty great. I have to say I've been rather blessed, but my first real Broadway role was replacing someone in an extant running Broadway show called Me and My Girl. From that I went into the Will Rogers Follies where was, I was creating another original role and was my first Tony nomination so that made that really special. And I have to say I love doing Gigi. It's a great part and I'm having a great time. It's a wonderful company and um, I just feel like I've walked into a rose patch of, to walk on. Not. Not thorns, just the, just the flowers. I've stepped in roses. Aunt Alicia and I share uh, a love or an affection and uh, an honorific, if you will, with politeness and courtesy and manners. And I would like to say the finer things in life, although she's got way more jewelry, <laughs> good jewelry than I'll ever have. A girl can dream, but um, she has beautiful clothes and she has beautiful jewelry and she's lived a really, really great life. I'm not done living my life yet, so I can't say I'm looking over my shoulder. She, Aunt Alicia, I think, is still kind of living in her own, she still thinks the room turns when she walks into it, which I sort of love, but I, it does not happen to me. <laughs> but she's a lot of fun and she has a great sense of humor, which I also admire and it's so much fun for me to be funny every night. I would love to see uh, a revival of the Will Rogers Follies with somebody else in it, not me. Um, just because I'd like to see the show. Um, I would have loved, if I could go back in time, I would have loved to have seen Angela Lansbury do Gypsy. There's stuff I love doing that I would love to do again, but it wasn't Broadway. It was like Love, Loss, and What I Wore. Um, and uh, that... <laughs> with, you know, a multiple casts that replaced each other every month, so you got to play different parts. And do, but I'd love for that to be a musical. I think that would be hilarious. My plans for the future are to be in Gigi for a long time. And, uh, you know, just keep working. I've been a working actress in the theater, which is a rare and beautiful thing, and not many people manage that without television and film, and I'd love to be doing that too. I've done a little of it, but let's be real. I um, would like to continue doing what I'm doing till I A, don't want to do it, or B, don't have to do it <laughs> anymore. I like the idea of being able to choose and not have to take the next job. I would like to play more character parts like what I'm doing now, like Aunt Alicia, because I started out in regional theater. I cut my teeth doing one week you're the queen, next month you're the maid, the week after that you're the little sister, the month after that you're the big sister, the, you know, then, then you work on props and then you... So I love that. But now that I'm a woman of a certain age, you have to get real and, you know, morph into something else. So I'm, I'm sort of reinventing myself in a way with Aunt Alicia. I don't think people are prepared <laughs> to see me in a white wig playing a dowager. But it's hilarious to me. I, I'm having a great time.
God, I miss, oh, Georgie, how I long for the old days. Name that musical. Um, I miss my, uh, about Ohio, I miss um, the simplicity. I miss my, my family as it was, you know, when we were all young and happy and healthy and together. Because and, I grew up, I had 37 first cousins. We saw each other, we went to school together. We saw each other every week at our grandparents' house. We had dinner, Sunday dinner. And um, I miss that because in New York, well, we were just a more mobile society, and we've, we're spread far apart. My, my siblings and I speak on the phone or do the email, but it's not the same as seeing each other every other week or, I'm, I'm having, I got extra chicken, come for dinner. I, I miss that. I said groovy. That dates me, doesn't it? <laughs>